Sitting Bull requested this council. We await his word. Take your soldiers out of here. They scare the game away. Very well, sir. Tell me, then, how far away should I take my men? You must take them out of our lands. What precisely are your lands? These are the lands where my people lived before you whites first came. I don't understand. We whites were not your first enemies. Why don't you demand back the land in Minnesota where the Chippewa and others forced you from years before? The Black Hills are sacred land given to my people by Wachantoncha. Not very convenient to cloak your claims in spiritualism. And what would you say to the Mormons and others who believe that their God has given to them Indian lands in the West? I would say they should listen to Wachantoncha. No matter what your legends say, you didn't sprout from the plains like the spring grasses, and you didn't coalesce out of the ether. You came out of the Minnesota woodlands, armed to the teeth, and set upon your fellow man. You massacred the Kiowa, the Omaha, the Ponca, the Oto, and the Pawnee without mercy, and yet you claim the Black Hills as a private preserve bequeathed to you by the Great Spirit. And who gave us the guns and powder to kill our enemies? And who traded weapons to the Chippewa and others who drove us from our home? Chief Sitting Bull, the proposition that you were a peaceable people before the appearance of the white man is the most fanciful legend of all. You were killing each other for hundreds of moons before the first white stepped foot on this continent. You conquered those tribes, lusting for their game and their lands, just as we have now conquered you for no less noble a cause. This is your story of my people. This is the truth, not legend. <laughs> 